Hi, this is Thundi from borderwork.com and today we're doing a, a tour of the um, OS for the Kindle Fire as well as the Silk browser. So we're going to go over those two aspects. Yes, I know I did mention we'll have a review shortly, not yet, but I figured since this is a very brand new different platform, it's good to go over the operating system and show people I know what differs from it. So the first thing with this, even though this is an Android based operating system, it has no look or feel like Android. And the first distinguishing factor here is that you have one single home screen. You don't have multiple home screens. You just have basically this whole one page, but it's broken down into different segments. You have your search bar on top, which allows you to search the library within your device for whatever you want. So I can go see, I was looking for CeeLo Green, but you can see that CE brings up all the different things I have in the device or I can search the web and I can go search Facebook, um, different options it gives me, Google, whatever options I want and I can cancel out. Now, of course, there are no physical buttons, so everything is all um, prompted on the OS itself on the screen. So you do have the search button. We'll get to the notification bar on top, but let's go uh, continue. And then below that, we do have our basic our tabs. Now we have here a total of, um, uh, six tabs, <coughs> sorry, seven tabs, if you will. We have a newsstand, we have books, we have music, videos, docs, apps, and web. Now, these are your main segments for everything you will do on this device. So, say you want to read a magazine, you go to newsstand, and of course, the stuff in the cloud. If you have anything in a cloud device, or you can go to store, I have nothing. So, of course, my shelf is empty. Now, if you look below, you have a home, which is your home key, which always will be there. There's a back button, and technically this is the menu button, and this is the menu for here. And of course, there's a search if I had magazines. Hit home to go back. Then you have books, same thing. Now I have a couple of books here uh, in the cloud. I have two books in my device, separated by author and, all, and uh, recent titles, or I can go into the store. And of course, at the bottom, again, you still have your home back menu and your search. Hit the home button again, music. Now I have music on the cloud. <clears throat> now cloud music could be two things. It can be music you've um, purchased of Amazon or you've uploaded. So these are actually two albums I just uploaded to the Amazon cloud storage when it first launched and device. These are just a few tracks I have on my device. And of course I have, I can create playlists. I can um, add artists, so for instance, with playlists, let's see if we can create a playlist combining uh, uh, sorry, let's call it mixed okay, now we said mixed um, let's see what songs can we add from our playlist here uh, okay so the playlist can only be um, done with uh, either device or cloud so this is plays for all songs on my device or if I go to cloud I can make a playlist of cloud and I can also purchase songs upload and things like that so of course that's it and again below you still have your main um, <clears throat> navigation functions likewise with video now video here um, you have instant video. I can actually um, watch video directly from the device using uh, my um, Amazon video service. I can purchase movies as well as TV shows. I can go and view all. And um, if you're a Prime member, it's very easy to actually go in and stream videos. So for instance, let's take the movie Batman. I was already playing before, so I'm just going to resume. Now this is just showing you uh, all the different aspects of what the device does and how well it functions. Right there. So that's a movie. Uh, control wise, I can increase reduce the volume. Again, the volume is all on screen. I have a 10 second time jump. I can go back because I can skip back and forth as soon as this buffers. And I do have a back and home button here. So if I tap the screen, hit back, takes me back to uh, this menu. 
because I made menu, this gives me settings, which I can play around with, and I hit the home button. Of course, in landscape, it's still the same thing. You do have your carousel of all you've played. Now you can see there, I was watching Ip Man, so that came up, uh, added to my recent activities. And these are all your recent activities will always be populated here as much as you use them. Now, you of course, um, you can pin those activities to your favorites. So for instance, I can add that to my favorites. Uh, and your favorites are usually listed below. Now you do have videos, documents, which would be the same thing um, here. You can head back home. And of course you have your apps. Now your apps here, you have apps which you downloaded from the App Store. Now it does have an App Store. It is not um, the Android App Store, it's the Amazon App Store, but it is an Android uh, based App Store. So it still has Android apps. All the apps here are Android apps. And the App Store you give in, you do have Audible's, um, Quick Office, Pulse, Email, <clears throat> Gallery, which you can load, side load pictures, for instance. So even though there's no camera on the device, I did uh, load some background pictures here. So you can see, and it, it navigates quite easily and you can move through uh, quite well. Of course, you can head back, head back there. And then, of course, you do have email, which you can actually combine your email together and so on and so forth. And you can also go into the store. So that's, um, you know, that's just the as aspect there with the, um, sorry, let me just re this, with all the different options. Now, of course, you do have the web browser, which we'll get to in a second. And um, if we go to the top now, the top is the notification bar. Once you tap it, it drops the notification bar where you can lock the screen. You can play around the volume or you can just mute it if you want. Um, play around the brightness. Wi-Fi, look at your Wi-Fi settings. Go into advanced settings if you like. Sync your device uh, to the cloud. And then we hit more. That takes us to your full settings. Now you, you have help and feedback. You have my account, which you can deregister yourself. Um, you do have your sound and volume not notifications. You have display, screen timeout, it's from five minutes, you can change it to whatever you want. Sorry about that. Uh, you do have applications, shows you what's running, it also shows you what third party applications are running. Um, date and time, of course, just setting your date and time with time zone. Wireless networks, you can also add a network, you can go to advanced settings, static IP, enable uh, international channels, so on and so forth. You have a Kindle keyboard where you can mess around with the settings there, nothing too spectacular. And of course, device, looking at the battery life so far, your storage, um, you can see even there's eight gigs is about 6.52 version, serial number, well, and of course, allow application of, uh, installation of applications from unknown sources. So you, of course, you can have homebrew applications in here, if you will. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it in this aspect. So let's check out the, uh, the uh, Silk browser, which is one of the key port components of the uh, Kindle Fire. Brings up the browser now. I already have a bunch of tiles open up or tabs open up. It's a, it's a tab browser. You can see here, once you open up a new tab, it gives you a bunch of uh, sites you can go to as well as places you've been to. As you can see Engadget, you can see Board of Work, uh, and it's pretty much your whole previous history comes up. So you can usually just tap to uh, a page you've been to before. So for instance, I was reading a Naruto comic, I can just tap that. That should bring it back up. Now, um, I've had um, varying speed results with the browser. Uh, at times, it's been super fast, uh, and sometimes I've experienced some slowdowns. So um, it's been on and off with the browser um, at certain points. Uh, also, at some point, it was playing Flash uh, videos, and now it isn't, but we'll get to that in a second. You can uh, hit the menu button there below, which shows you can bookmark the page, you can share the page, and of course, you can go Facebook, Seismic, or send via email. 
Uh, you can find a page, you can go through your history, check out downloads, and go into browser settings. Now, your browser settings, I uh, can set a search engine. I have it here as Google, Bing, or Yahoo are the ones you can search. Your text size, you can increase that all the way to huge or massive, if you will. Default zoom is set at medium, auto fit page, load images, apply cookies, clear cookies and catch if you want to do that so I can say okay uh, clear the catch yeah clear that too if you want to clear the history no remember from data clear so you have all the various settings you want um, uh, for your device if you will let's head back here so you have all that um, like I said, you have uh, ta full tab browsing, and um, you know you can add your different bookmarks all together. Um, right now, my browsing speed, as you can see, is not the best. Uh, but like I said, I've experienced um, varying browsing speeds. It's been f very fast at times, and certain times it's been super slow. So I'm just gonna go to Port of Work. Now, of course, that's already in the system because I've been in before, so it's, it's picked up pretty fast. What I've noticed, though, is sometimes uh, it, it speeds through, uh, and then uh, it just takes a little bit of time to, you know, finish rendering the whole site. Um, early, as I mentioned, it was able to play uh, Flash video off the site. Uh, now, Flash isn't fully functional. Well, the last time I checked, it looks like Flash is now, because um, you can see the, the ads. It's a video here. Let's see if we can access that video. So yeah, Flash is functional. Uh, I was probably having issues just with the browser, but so Flash is functional. Um, just that it, it it was being finicky early on. Um, so going back to the the page there. So yeah, you know the browser. The browser. Yeah. Um, presently is has some ups and downs I would say from my experience you know I wouldn't say that it's um, it's you know super fast or super slow I just say right now just um, probably because the browser is aided by uh, Amazon servers and a lot of people are getting on the system now uh, so you're going to experience very different varying speeds but I do like the browser I like the fact that when it works it works very well and smooth it's easy to navigate it's not too hard to use plus you do have you know the, the keyboard itself is very easy to, to navigate to use especially if you're holding it this with thumbs or if you use it in a landscape mode is also easy to navigate through and it works pretty well so it's something uh, to note here you know and um, it's I'd say the browser works very very well uh, overall so uh, you can see here um, CNN is one of those pages that the, it does navigate very very quickly to um, so uh, that's pretty much it that's a look at the um, the Kindle Fire OS as well as the Kindle Fire uh, Kindle Fire Silk browser. Uh, if you guys have any questions, any comments about uh, the OS itself, uh, let us know. If you just something you're wondering or, or concerned about, before I, I actually end this, I just remembered on the top left hand corner you do have your name. It says you know my name, and Bong Kindle, and it says number three. If you tap on that, that shows you uh, activities, especially downloads. So if I was downloading an app. Um, this is like your notification tray it will actually pop down with all that fun stuff here and you can clear that out You know you can tap that back again. Also likewise if you're playing the song. So if I went back in here and Let's pick an artist So I had Frank Ocean playing here Now this is off the cloud, so it might take a second to start up. Of course, your speaker's on the top of the device here. <clears throat> so song's playing. I want to do something else, read a book maybe. Now you see on the very top left-hand corner, it says Kindle number one. It means one thing is going on. So that's how you access your music if it's playing in the background. So basically just go ahead, tap there. 
um, and you can access your music immediately. So something to take note, if you will. So anyway, if you guys have any questions or any comments about the uh, Kindle Fire OS as well as the Silk browser, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with Two O's. So this is Thunder E saying thank you, and uh, always enjoy entertainment, and also check out our Google Plus page. Thank you.